So what's up guys welcome back to my channel and in today's video I will be showing you 5 cool tips and tricks which will be very useful on your new Galaxy A52. And if you haven't watched my unboxing I'll put the link in the description and the card on top. With that being said let's get started. So this is lockdown mode. When it's activated it turns off smart lock, biometrics unlock and notifications on the lock screen. So as you can see when it's turned on you cannot use your biometrics or smart lock to open the device. You can only open it by entering your password or pin. Also when it's turned on you won't be able to see any of your notifications. This feature is very useful when you want no one to access or check the notifications of your phone. So by changing one small setting you will be able to get this feature. So to activate it head on to the settings then go to lock screen and then secure lock settings and make sure you turn on the option which says lockdown mode and then you're good to go coming on to the next one this is going to be a very handy feature if you unlock and lock your screen often so by double tapping your screen, you can wake up your phone or else if you're on the home screen, you can lock your phone. This is a very cool and a useful feature. So just follow my steps and you will be done in no time. So to activate this, all you have to do is go to settings. Then scroll down and find an option which says advanced features. Then head on to motion and gestures. And then you have to turn on this as well as this option. And then you're all set. So the next feature is about the voice recorder. So have you ever wanted to record something and get it typed of what you have recorded? This next feature is very helpful. All you must do is go to your voice recorder. And then select the option which says speech to text. And then choose your language in which you prefer and then just start recording. So as you can see when I'm recording in the same time the text is also getting typed. So this is a very useful feature if you are a scripter or as a writer or if you are a normal human as well. Okay if you are enjoying this video a sub to the channel would be very helpful. So if you are getting calls and you are bored with the same animation which is repeating again and again, don't worry, I have got you covered. So I'm gonna show you how to change this type of animation into this. So all you have to do is head to your phone app and then click the three dots on the top right corner and head to settings and then click on call backgrounds. And then select the sim in which you want to change. In my case, it's sim 2. And then in the bottom, there is an option for background. Click on it. And then select any background given here. You can also make your own background by clicking on the plus in the top right corner. Or else you can choose any of these. So once you're done choosing the right one, just click on the option which says select call background. And then it will be put. So go ahead and try out different uh, and different ones. There are like so many you can also go and make your customized one and just let me know in the comments how you feel about it. So let's hop into the next one. The final one is going to be a trick on the keyboard. So when you're typing a message and erase something accidentally or else you just want to go back. So don't you worry just by sliding two fingers on the keyboard you can undo this action. And also if you are swiping it on the right side you can redo the option so I'll teach you how to get this cool trick activated on your keyboard so to do this go to settings and then click general management and then go to Samsung keyboard settings then swipe down and click on the option swipe touch and feedback then select keyboard swipe controls and choose cursor controls and then you're good to go go ahead and try it out for yourself and let me know in the comment section 
So these were some of the tips and tricks I wanted to show you. If you have enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and do press the bell button to get the latest update of my channel. And finally as always see you guys in the next one.